And at the core of this case is a dispute over the nature and scope of the legal obligation to pursue negotiations in good faith under Article VI of the Non-Proliferation Treaty. We ask the court to interpret the Non-Proliferation Treaty. We ask the court to interpret this legally binding instrument and describe the nature and scope of the duty to negotiate. That the legal meaning of this treaty sought in count one is subject to redetermination at will by non-Article III officers of the executive. The answer to your question depends on how the court interprets the nature and scope of the duty to negotiate in good faith. I would submit to you that any holding saying that the executive's obligation to negotiate was not operative on ratification would contradict the only Senate history that's in the record, and that is that this treaty certainly became the law of the land on ratification. I would disagree with that because the doctrine of self-execution revolves around whether a treaty provision is operative. Right. Whether it operates with respect to the party before the court. This provision, Article 6, certainly operates. There is no third party coming in here and saying, I claim third party rights under this treaty and that promise operated to protect me, therefore I can be here. That's why that doctrine has never been extended to a treaty party. The review conferences that council alluded to that, it, that occur every five years do not satisfy the Article 6 obligation to negotiate in good faith. Excellent, and a difficult case, and also uh, we also thank the multiple um, submissions of the amicus briefs. Thank you.